Have you ever stopped to consider why we celebrate Independence Day? It's not just about the parades, the dazzling fireworks lighting up the night sky, the sizzling barbecues with family and friends. No, there's a deeper significance that lies at the heart of this day. It's about a momentous decision made over two centuries ago. The decision to break free from the chains of British rule, to say no to oppression and yes to liberty. It's about the birth of a new nation conceived in freedom and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. It's a day that commemorates the adoption of the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776, a document that boldly declared our independence and set the stage for the creation of a nation founded on democratic principles. So let's delve into the history of our Independence Day, from its origins to the modern day celebrations. Our journey begins on July 4, 1776, a date that would forever change the course of history. Picture a world groaning under the weight of colonial oppression. The 13 colonies, scattered along the eastern seaboard of a vast, largely unexplored continent, were chafing under the heavy hand of the British Empire. The people of these colonies, diverse in their origins and their beliefs, found common ground in their shared grievances against this distant power. The litany of these grievances was long, and it was growing. Unjust taxation, denial of trial by jury, the dissolution of their own assemblies, these and more were the seeds of discontent sown by Britain's rule. The colonies, pushed to their limit, were ready to make a stand. But it was not a decision made lightly. The idea of breaking away from the motherland, from the known, was a daring one, fraught with risks and uncertainties. The prospect of war, of going against the might of the British Empire, was a daunting one. Yet the call for freedom, for the right to govern themselves, was stronger. And so, in a hot summer in Philadelphia, 56 representatives from these 13 colonies gathered in secrecy. Over days of intense debate and deliberation, they crafted a document that would become a beacon of hope and freedom for generations to come. This was the Declaration of Independence, a bold assertion of their rights and their resolve to be free. The final words of the Declaration, a solemn vow, echoed the gravity of their decision. And for the support of this Declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. It was signed and adopted on July 4, 1776. The signing of the Declaration of Independence marked the birth of a new nation, the United States of America. The adoption of the Declaration of Independence was indeed a cause for celebration. But how did our forefathers celebrate this momentous occasion? As the ink dried on the Declaration, word of the audacious act of defiance quickly spread throughout the 13 colonies. The air was filled with a mix of fear, excitement, and most importantly, a sense of unity. The first celebrations were spontaneous and jubilant. Bells rang out across the land, their peals echoing the newfound freedom. The Liberty Bell in Philadelphia, with its timeless inscription, proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof, holds a special place in the annals of these early celebrations. Bonfires were another common sight. These towering infernos symbolized the burning desire for freedom and the fiery resolve of the American people. The flames danced into the night, casting a warm, hopeful glow on the faces of the newly liberated. Parades filled the streets, as people from all walks of life joined together in a public display of solidarity and pride. The rich tapestry of American society was on full display, as the young and old, the rich and poor, men and women, all marched together in unity. The firing of cannons and muskets filled the air with smoke and noise, a stark reminder of the conflict that brought about this historic event. This was not just a celebration, but also a show of force, a demonstration of the people's willingness to fight for their newfound freedom. Each of these celebrations held deep symbolism. The ringing of bells signaled the start of a new era. The bonfires represented the burning passion for freedom. The parades were a display of unity and strength, and the firing of cannons, a reminder of the price of liberty. These first celebrations were more than just joyous events. They were a powerful statement, a bold declaration to the world that a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal, had been born.
these first celebrations set the stage for the traditions we still observe today. Fast forward to the present day. How do we as Americans celebrate our Independence Day now? Let's paint a picture of the 4th of July in the 21st century. The day often starts with parades, marching bands, floats, police cars, and firefighters all process down the streets of towns and cities, big and small, across the nation. These parades are a colorful, vibrant spectacle, a tribute to community spirit and a celebration of the freedom we enjoy. But the festivities don't stop there. Once the last float has passed and the last marching band has played its tune, we gather in backyards and parks for barbecues and picnics. The smell of hot dogs, hamburgers, and corn on the cob fill the air. This is a time for sharing food, laughter, and stories with loved ones. As the sun starts to set, carnivals and fairs open their gates. The sounds of laughter and music fill the air alongside the tantalizing scent of cotton candy and popcorn. Rides whirl, games are won, and an atmosphere of joy and excitement is palpable. And then there are the concerts. From small town bands playing in the local park to big name artists performing in packed stadiums, music is a crucial part of our Independence Day celebrations. It's a shared experience that brings us together, allowing us to express our joy and pride in being American. The crack of a baseball bat against a ball also echoes through the air on the 4th of July. Baseball, America's pastime, is a staple of Independence Day. Whether it's a local little league game or a major league showdown, the excitement and camaraderie of a baseball game encapsulate the American spirit. As the day turns into night, we gather with friends and family for the grand finale, fireworks. The sky lights up with an array of colors, each explosion a tribute to our nation's history and the liberty we cherish. The oohs and ahs that accompany each burst are a testament to our collective awe and appreciation. Throughout the day, you'll also hear political speeches and witness ceremonies that remind us of the importance of this day. These speeches are a reflection of the values that our nation was built upon, liberty, equality, and democracy. No two celebrations are alike, just as no two Americans are alike. Yet in these variances, we see a common thread, a shared love for our country and the freedoms it affords us. These modern day celebrations are a testament to the resilience, unity, and spirit of the American people. Today, Independence Day serves as a powerful reminder of our history and the values we hold dear as a nation. It's a day when we come together to celebrate our shared heritage and look forward to a future where these values continue to guide us. So why does Independence Day matter, you may ask? Well, it's more than just an excuse for a summer barbecue or a dazzling fireworks show. Independence Day, or the 4th of July as it's often called, is a cornerstone of our national identity, a day that embodies our collective history, our freedom, and our democratic values. Let's start with history. Independence Day commemorates the adoption of the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, a document that boldly declared the American colony's separation from the British Empire. It's a day that reminds us of the courage, determination, and vision of our founding fathers, who dared to challenge the might of an empire for the sake of an ideal, the right to self-governance. But Independence Day is not just a nod to the past. It's also a celebration of the present, of the freedom we enjoy today, as a result of those historical struggles. Every firework that illuminates the night sky, every parade that winds its way down our streets is a testament to the liberties we hold dear. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to pursue our dreams. And let's not forget about democracy. Independence Day is a yearly reminder of the democratic principles that underpin our society. It's a day to remember that our government is of the people, by the people, for the people as Lincoln so eloquently put it. It's a day to appreciate our right to vote, to express our opinions, to participate in shaping the future of our nation. So you see, Independence Day is more than just a date on the calendar. It's a symbol of our journey as a nation, from a handful of rebellious colonies to a global powerhouse. It's a celebration of the ideals that make us who we are, a free democratic society committed to the pursuit of happiness. Independence Day is not just a holiday, it's a celebration of freedom, democracy, and the